I guess for me, art is about, the thing I really like about art and the thing that kind of drives me to make art is the actual um, act of creating. Um, I kind of let the art itself dictate what's going on. I have maybe a basic idea, uh, which is pretty open-minded, uh, pretty loose-ended. And then as the painting kind of evolves, I kind of let the painting tell me uh, what needs to come next. Um, I find I try to keep away from having an idea or like a concept behind it because I, I, I really think art itself can have its own uh, impact and impression and concept behind it to, the, to each person. So I try to keep it open-ended and kind of lucid, um, somewhat kind of dreamlike so that it can affect somebody's subconscious in the sense that also, I guess, like uh, Buddhist men, um, Mandela's or in like meditation plates do, that it's kind of like a means to connect with the collective unconsciousness. So then that way I don't want to put a label on it um, or like an idea behind it really, just because then that way it's different for every person. And I find that's the, the thing that really makes me enjoy art. Um, also, I try to use imagery that is um, somewhat contemporary and in a, in a context of a language that like that reflects our society and kind of makes a new pantheon or like a new, uh, yeah, like a new, a new set of like gods and goddesses and like, and relativity to like our world around us and kind of I try to try to make it a little bit cheeky, a little bit rebellious. Um, I'd like to make people think and uh, kind of question their world around them. I try to use like a lot of found like found paper and like um, paper and other objects that don't necessarily are used in regular art. Um, like you know, like for instance, on this one, it's all kind of like roach papers and um yeah i try to to make it try to take things that people don't usually think as an art material and um try to transform it something kind of a little bit more beautiful same with like that's why a lot of the art is like kind of on found pieces of wood and stuff like that is because i just kind of i kind of like the aesthetic of um refuge I guess of thrown away objects that people are kind of discarded with because you know they don't really think of them anymore as useful so um, and I try to use them uh, reuse them in a different way and try to like show people that even garbage or what people think of garbage is actually um, can be used into something that's actually really beautiful and useful again um, other than that, yeah, it's just mostly acrylic paint just because I have low patience. <laughs> so I want stuff to dry fast so I can work on it more. Um, yeah, uh, I like collage. I really am a strong believer in the kind of um, data aesthetic where um, I'll take whatever I can get my grubby hands on and use it. Um, yeah, I guess um, other than that, um, I think, you know, I try to uh, make sure that some of my art, I guess, I, 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 I kind of like the idea of, um, yeah, like I said, having that kind of cheeky play in it. I, um, I've been labeled as a street artist. I don't know if I really consider myself that. Uh, but I do definitely, you know, have been doing art for 10 years, like was part of the Integrated Arts Festival that just happened in Victoria, did a mural. Um, a lot of my older work is uh, more three-dimensional sculptures. Um, right now I'm just kind of trying to see how far I can push a, a flat two-dimensional kind of space. Um, 
but at the same time also too like you know like uh, for instance this is one of my pieces too and like I just wanted to kind of I found a sculpt like a ceramic sculpture of Yosemite Sam and decided that his gun should be penises added the penises kind of thing like that's that's definitely an aesthetic I kind of enjoy um, it doesn't really show that much here but uh, a lot of my art also seems to have um, a bit of pornography in it just because I think uh, pornography is the one last areas where it is still taboo uh, a lot of people find it vulgar but I think it adds into the aesthetics that proves that like even vulgarity can if it's looked at or presented in a different way it can actually turn out to be really beautiful um, yeah I've been basing my work out of Victoria for like 10 years maybe a bit more I think there's a lot of great artists here um, I think the show here at Rad Julius Design is a great opportunity uh, and even the pairing up with um, my art and the reclaimed home decor it seems to work really well so I'm just glad that I had the opportunity to do it here Hello, my name is Christina Hilborn and I am a furniture designer and maker. I've been making furniture for about 16, 17 years and recently I also started making some smaller uh, home accents like this platter here and these spiral pendant lights. Um, one of my, well, my main drive in making what I make is caring for the planet. And so it's really important for me to use materials that are either being reused or being made out, made out of waste products. So the serving platters and the spiral lights are all made from bourbon barrels that have been used to make seasonal beer by our local craft brewers. So they've been used two or three times. They're on their fourth life now. And the platters are made out of the white oak barrel staves and I use the barrel bands to make the legs that hold the, the planks together and the spiral pendants are made out of the barrel bands as well. Um, the furniture line that I've been working on for the last couple of years is made out of a product called Kiri Board, which is made in Japan out of the byproducts of sorghum crops there. So it used to be a waste product that was thrown away or burned and now they're making a beautiful panel product out of it. And a lot of my designs for the furniture line are based on the sheet size of Kiri, which is 3x6, which is weird, not 4x8. So I, I, I try and make my designs to have as little waste as possible.
and also try and make them as simple as possible. That's kind of my simplicity is my favorite thing, really. Uh, my name's Julie, and I we're here in my shop. Um, and I started the store. Uh, just I always felt like people need things that are well made um, that last for a long time. So. I started making things sort of spontaneously, and then more people wanted them, and then the next thing you knew, I was selling at markets, and then I was like, wait, I need a storefront. I need people to come to me. And uh, when I, I moved my workshop out of this space and upstairs, and I ended up with so much more extra room, and I was like, I need to share it with other artists. There's 40 other artists in this building, and I would be selfish to just keep it all to myself. So I'm trying to do like a monthly sort of, monthly art show, I guess, rotating, and design, too, as Christine and stuff is fabulous home decor and uh, the, I think some people in this neighborhood and uh, I'm totally willing to jump on board with this are trying to promote our neighborhood as a design district and I think it's awesome because we're like getting more people more businesses are opening up down here and it just makes it more and more vibrant more and more people every month it seems like doing design and doing art and making it making it more vibrant so, yeah this is what we, that's what I do <laughs>